Hi everyone, this is Jenny G. Cousins. Now I was not going to do this video at all, but my friend Donnie, who I was talking to last night, he insisted that I do this. So a lot of things happened to me and I just ignore it. I'm a psychic clairvoyant medium, for those of you who know. So I always have experiences from spirit, as I call it. And sometimes I'll talk to my friends about it, ha 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 ha, whatever. But he insisted I do this. So I'm just going to share this with you and you can decide. All right. So anyways, I'm on assignment. I have to go away. And the original location I was going to go to, it was closed um, because it was too dangerous. It wasn't because of COVID. So I had to like go a different direction. And I ended up in Drumheller, Alberta, booked into my hotel and I was planning out my day for tomorrow for the morning because I knew I was only there for a couple of days. Okay. So I'm like, okay. So that night I am trying to sleep and I couldn't. There was a banging noise all night. And six o'clock in the morning, I phoned downstairs and I'm like, hey, I got to change rooms. I didn't sleep because the banging noise. So I was very grateful they did that and exhausted. So I fell asleep for a couple of hours, right? You know, and I woke up and I'm like, okay, you got to go get some coffee going in you and you'll be fine. So I go to one of my locations and set up my camera. All batteries are dead. I had four brand new batteries and I thought, oh my God, I forgot to charge them. But I did charge them before I left. And I'm like, what the, you know, and in the back of my mind, I'm like, you know, something's not right here, but I'm like, whatever. So then I had to surrender it because to charge batteries in a camera, it can take two to three hours to do one. And I had four. So I go back to the hotel, had to surrender it, you know, just kind of unwound it for the, for the evening. No choice, really, right? And I'm like, okay, now you've got to reschedule everything and replan your day. You're only here for a couple of nights, really, right? Two, three nights. So anyways... That night, I'm really exhausted, and I'm like, I'm going to sleep really good. I'm up early. I'll go to locations. It's going to be an awesome day, right? And I'm laying in bed, and I had this funny feeling again, and I'm like, oh, Jenny, whatever, right? <laughs> so I'm laying in bed, and I'm alone, and my pillow on the side of my head, like right here, it started to move down to my neck. And I'm like, okay, maybe it just kind of fell down, right? <laughs> I'm just trying to like talk to myself about it, you know, like whatever. So then I'm like, okay, just ignore it. And I could feel a presence. I could feel some energy and I'm like, ignore it. You're tired, ignore it. Then get this. Can you imagine this? Now I felt a finger go and touch the top of my spine all the way back down to the bottom of my back. I freaked. I had to confront. I thought seriously somebody came into the room or was there. Like, I'm like, whatever my fate is, so be it. Like, I turned around and oh my God, there is this tall man. He looked exactly like Abe Lincoln, but, but without the beard. He had the top hat on and everything. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Then he disappeared. And I'm like, like, what? <laughs> like, then the banging noise from the night before made sense. The dead batteries in my camera made total sense. Spirit sucked the energy right out of my batteries or him or whatever. And I'm like, this is crazy. This is crazy, right? So finally, I fall asleep. I don't know how long. I, I, I don't even know. And I woke up and I'm like, okay. I get my day going. I go back to this other place. And I take some shots and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, this is really good. But I was so exhausted. I just, I, I really couldn't focus. My mind was everywhere else. So I go back to the hotel and wind. And I'm like, okay, you can make the best of this. Because tomorrow is your last day. Just get everything done, right? So I go back to my hotel and I was like, flat out exhausted. I got some sunset photos and I'm like, this is good. This is okay. And because I work on call at a hospice, I got called in and I'm like, no, I can't come tomorrow. Like I cannot, I'll whatever. So I rearranged that. So get this, I fall asleep <laughs> finally, cause I'm exhausted, right? 
I wake up to a nightmare, screaming. My dream was there was three people, one was a woman, two were men, and they were stabbing me in the stomach. I could see the knife go in my stomach and out. Like I could see the hole in my stomach and I'm like, oh, what the hell? And I don't know if I woke up people in that hotel or not. I, 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 I don't know, right? So I finally get back to sleep again thinking, how are you sleeping? But I was exhausted. So I'm like, okay, wake up in the morning. It's like, okay, this is, this is your last day. This is your last day, right? So I started driving. I'm feeling off as it was because of the dream and the, and the Abe Lincoln and all this kind of stuff. That's And I'm by myself, don't forget, right? So I started driving and I had to kind of go up this cliff, this hill. And as I'm going up this hill, I'm starting to hyperventilate and I wanted to turn around and I'm like, what is going on? Like, what is going on, right? Like, oh my God. But it's like, you're here, go up the hill. You have to. So I started going up the hill a bit and then all of a sudden there's all these construction workers and bulldozers and everything. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is okay. Right. And as I slowly got to the guy, you know how they hold that sign, the slow down sign. As I got up to him, oh my God, I looked into his eyes and I thought I knew him. Like he looked familiar. He looked, he honestly, none of this felt real. He felt like a ghost. This whole construction workers, you heard the noise, everybody was there. I, I'm like, like, I, whatever, right? I go to the canyon and I had planned to go down to the bottom of the canyon and up and take all these photos and everything like that. I get to the canyon, <laughs> I'm the only one there, right? This van, but this van was parked in the corner. And I'm like, okay, what? But I'm like, just like, whatever, right? So then I get my camera equipment out of my truck and everything like that. And I'm like, you know what? Like, you're not going down to the bottom of the canyon by yourself. Like, something's not right here. A car pulls up. <laughs> A car pulls up. Out of the car comes three people. The three people that were in my dream, especially that woman, came out of the car. And they're looking right at me. And they went over to that camper van. And I'm like, oh my God. Like, I was pissed off, actually, because I'm like, I came all this way. I wanted to shoot this canyon. I had my whole day planned, right? But I'm no, but I'm like, oh my God, spirit, like, thank you for showing me this. But oh my God, are you serious? But I was shaking and I'm like, okay, even if you spend 10 minutes really quickly taking these photos. And I, I did that. I That's exactly what I did. And I was freaking out. I was shaking. So the camera was like this. The pictures didn't come out because I was shaking, of course, right? And I, and I took off in my truck, right? And, and then I'm like, okay, I'm going back to the hotel, like GPS, whatever, right? But then I thought, maybe I'll stop off at this other location because since the day before, was already screwed because of my camera batteries and everything like that. So I go down the hill, the same hill I just came up on where all those construction workers were. I was maybe like 15 minutes, like gone for 15 minutes, not even that, because of those people in the car that had the dream about, right? No one was there. Not one construction worker, not one bulldozer, not one truck. No one was there. I was 15 minutes. There's no way, no way that they were leaving in 15 minutes. Like maybe they did. Maybe, maybe that's what happened, right? So I go down the hill and I go to this other location where my GPS told me it was, it was a golf course. And I'm like, a golf course? I don't need to be at a golf course. I went inside and the guy says, no, you go this location. And meanwhile, my GPS is saying, hey, you're here, <laughs> right, Jenny, hey, right? So I'm like, oh, what's going on? So anyways, I go out and I'm like, no, that's not over there. Cause I passed that and I didn't see that. I go this other direction. My GPS starts acting up <laughs> like it's like, like, I don't know where it is, what cosmic level the GPS turned into. So I go around this other bend on this hill and I'm like, okay, like, like, that's it. I'm just going back to the hotel. Nothing, nothing is happening here. I go on the top of the, of the hill. I take a turn and I'm like to turn back. I start to come down and then I felt my grandmother in spirit, 
sitting beside me in my truck and she said, go back. And I'm like, <laughs> stuff like this happens to me, which is normal, right? And I'm like, I don't want to go back. But I'm like, okay, I'll go back and I'm going to be like five seconds. And if I don't see whatever I'm supposed to see, that's it. So I go back and it was the canyon that I really wanted to be at. There was only one other car and I felt the energy being really calm. And <laughs> I took the shots of the canyon. It reminded me of Colorado. And I used to live in Colorado Springs when I was younger. My grandmother's from Colorado. And it just brought tears to my eyes and, and so much gratitude for her showing me this and, and being there with me. So I took my pictures. I didn't go down to the bottom of the, can of the canyon because I was still shaking from my whole experience. I start driving away after my photo shoot. And as I start going down, my GPS went back to normal. So I started driving, being in gratitude. And all of a sudden, the other location, it just appeared out of nowhere. Like nowhere. Stopped there, got my photos, went back to the hotel. And spent the night there. Actually slept that night. So anyways... I just wanted to share that with you all and I went and I thought maybe this hotel is haunted so I started googling it it wasn't haunted at all <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you I have many stories but like I said I don't say too much but you know thanks Donnie this is for you <laughs> so if you enjoyed this and if you do want me to share more stories let me know have a wonderful day. You can always book an appointment with me at soulworkwithjenny.com and I can give you a lot of clarity on whatever's coming up for you. Namaste, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.